Every day when you step outside, you expect the weather to be something that you had seen before. Sometimes it will be rainy, sometimes it will be sunny, sometimes there might even be some powdery white snow. But throughout history, there have been some very strange weather events that are nearly unexplainable. This is the top eight most unexplainable weather events. Number eight, the Kentucky Meat Shower. On the morning of March 3rd, 1876, some residents from Bath County, Kentucky, stepped outside and saw something that most people wouldn't believe. Meat falling from the sky. And no, this was not just one piece of meat falling from the sky. A bunch of meat fell from the sky for about five minutes straight. The pieces of meat that rained down from the sky had sizes ranging from about one centimeter in diameter to about 10 centimeters in diameter. Initially, most people in this town were frightened by this event as they believed it was a sign from God. But after the event happened, the residents began analyzing the meat and taking it to several experts to find out what type of meat it was. It was initially determined that the meat that had come down from the sky was from a lamb or deer. But after scientific analysis, it was determined that this meat was from the lung tissue or muscle tissue of a human or horse. The scientists who ran the lab couldn't believe their results, so they ran the lab again and determined with even more accuracy that this was in fact lung and muscle tissue from either a human or a horse. As unbelievable as this sounds, it actually happened again, this time in a small town in Europe shortly afterwards. Now, scientists have been trying to come up with a logical explanation for these two events for about 150 years. The two leading explanations are that the meat pieces are actually nostoc, which is a cyanobacteria. Nostoc can turn into a jelly-like mass when it is hit with rain. However, that does not explain why the residents said that the meat was actually falling from the sky. A second explanation is that a group of vultures had vomited up their meals while flying in the air. That's possible because vultures have been known to vomit in groups whenever they are in a dangerous situation, so this explanation is also possible, but still unlikely. Now we still don't know for sure what happened to cause these events, and to this date we still haven't had another meat shower since then. Number 7. Rainbow Snow Nearly everywhere in the world where there is a cold climate, snow is relatively the same. It usually falls during a snowfall that lasts about 12 hours, it has a relatively soft texture, and it's usually powdery white in color. However, beginning in 2007, Russia started getting some weird kinds of snow. On January 31st, 2007, residents in several towns in Russia got a heavy dose of what was described as orange snow. That's right, for several hours, the normally soft and powdery white snow came in the form of an oily, slippery orange snow. Scientists analyzed the snow and found that it contained small amounts of sand and clay, along with having four times the normal amount of iron, acid, and nitrate content of normal snow. Scientists at the time had several theories as to what caused this, such as a local rocket launch that might have put too much exhaust in the air. However, that theory was shot down pretty quickly. It was then theorized that this was caused by excess pollution from nearby industrial factories. Now this is a possible explanation, but if that were true, then orange snow would be falling down much more often than once every hundred years. Now the mystery of orange snow left scientists puzzled for a few years afterwards, until it happened again, and again, and again, and again. The difference being that the snow would be in different colors each time. So Russia began getting blue snowfalls, then green snowfalls, then yellow, then purple, and so on. Now each different colored snow that Russia got is said to have different causes or is caused by excess pollution. Now to this day, we still have no definitive answer for the colored snow and why it only keeps happening in Russia. Number six, the cold blob. As most of us know, the climate is changing and global temperatures have been increasing in every region on Earth, except here. There's one spot in the Atlantic Ocean near Eastern Canada and Greenland where global temperatures have actually dropped, despite all other surrounding regions having significant increases in temperature. Some of the top climate scientists in the world have been studying this area for nearly five years straight and still have no conclusive answer as to why this area seems to be immune to the effects of global warming. 
The leading theory is that this area has a lot of fresh water from Greenland and Canada, meeting with the salty water from the ocean, and the meeting of these two types of water is preventing the cold water from sinking. Now again, to this day, there's still no conclusive answer as to why this area is cooling down instead of warming up, but scientists are fairly certain we will find the answer within the next decade. Number 5. Blood Rain what was once mythology for thousands of years has actually now been considered a real weather event. Blood rain was first recorded in 700 BCE by the great writer Homer and has occurred roughly 500 times since then. As you might imagine, blood rain is an event where the rain that falls from the sky is perceived to be red in color and has a blood-like appearance. Blood rain was once seen as a foreshadowing of bad days ahead and potentially a sign that the gods were going to bring the end of days. However, as the centuries passed, more and more blood rain events kept occurring, peaking at 100 146 events in the 19th century. Now today, blood rain events still occur and the most recent one happened in Kerala, India in 2012. A study of the Kerala event showed that each raindrop of the blood rain had a very small amount of Trentipolia, which is a type of algae. However, this type of algae is not found in India, and it was said to have traveled through the clouds all the way from Europe. To this date, blood rain is the only evidence we have that algae can travel through clouds, and we still don't have conclusive evidence that algae is the cause of all of the blood rain events in history. It is speculated that dust, auroras, and pollution have played a part in some of these events throughout history, but for now, algae is our best guess. Number 4. Black Saturday have you ever had an extremely overcast day where it's pretty dark at noon? Well, on August 4th, 1621 in Scotland, most of the entire country woke up to complete darkness. Scotland is known for being perpetually overcast, dark, and having stormy weather, but this was very different. The people of Scotland saw a completely black sky for nearly 35 hours. No stars, no moon, no sun, no light, just darkness. The sky was so dark that the entire country took the skies as a sign of Armageddon. Many people decided to commit suicide on this day in fear of God's wrath. Now this day in Scotland is also what led the people of Scotland to give the church more power in hopes that they could sway the God's opinion and stop the black skies. Now 159 years later in New England, a similar black sky event occurred where they also thought it was a sign of Armageddon. It is said that New Englanders had to use candlelight for 36 hours straight just to see what was in front of them. We don't have a great explanation for why the skies got so dark on these two days, but our best guess is that there were massive forest fires somewhere nearby in the countries that produced enough smoke to block out the sun and the sky. Number 3. Earthquake Weather Earthquakes are one of the most devastating natural disasters that humans have ever faced. However, somehow these disasters might actually be connected to the weather. Aristotle in the 4th century BCE once predicted that earthquakes were caused by heavy winds. This was the first time that humans had thought that the weather could be a precursor to an earthquake. Fast forward a few thousand years, and scientists today may have actually found the connection between weather and earthquakes. It is stated that about two to five days before an earthquake occurs, there is a sudden temperature spike. We don't really know why this happens or why this occurs. And spikes in temperature do happen regularly, so it would be very difficult to tie a specific temperature spike to an incoming earthquake. Another connection to earthquakes is that high wind events tend to be a precursor to earthquakes as well. So things like tropical cyclones and hurricanes are also signs that a big earthquake might be coming in the next few days. Now we don't know why there is a connection between these events, but all we know for sure is that there is some sort of connection or correlation between the weather and earthquakes. Number 2. Raining Animals If a bunch of birds were to fall out of the sky, that would be strange enough. But what if a bunch of flightless animals like frogs, toads, and fish were to fall out of the sky? Well, this is an occurrence that has happened quite often throughout human history. The first noted event happened when Roman soldiers were on the battlefield in the first century AD when they noticed frogs and fish came raining down from the heavens. Events like this have happened many times since, such as when French soldiers in 1794 saw toads fall from the sky during a heavy storm. And for those of you thinking that this is just a myth and doesn't happen, well, 
It actually happens every year in the Honduras during a time called the Luva de Pisces. During this time, fish will seemingly fall from the sky every year and flood the roadways. These events also happen in different countries with different organisms falling from the sky. For example, worms fell in Louisiana, jellyfish fell in England, and spiders fell in Australia. Our best guess as to why this occurs is water sprouts. So water sprouts are pretty much tornadoes that occur over water. The theory is that these water sprouts suck up a lot of the marine life that is in the water and carries them to high altitudes before they fall. However, water sprouts have not been sighted at many of these events, but scientists do think that high winds are definitely a large factor in all of these events and probably play the primary role in the reigning animal phenomena. Number 1. The Year Without Summer This item is number one on our list because of its massive global effects and lack of concrete explanations. The year of 1816 around the globe was known as the year without summer. This was because the global temperature dropped by about 0.7 degrees Celsius for an entire year, and in most of the developed world, temperatures dropped by almost 4 degrees Celsius for an entire year. To put things in perspective, parts of the United States and Europe experienced such a temperature drop that there were ice lakes and ice rivers in July and August of that year. This cooldown was devastating for agriculture as crops could not grow and food supplies shrank. It is estimated that about 100,000 people died from this cooldown in Europe alone. The theory as to why this occurred is centered around a large volcano erupting in 1815. The volcano was called Mount Tambora, and it was the largest volcanic eruption in over 1500 years. The eruption is said to have caused a volcanic winter, however, most scientists agree that there must have been a multitude of other causes in order to cause the extreme temperature drop that the Earth experienced. So which item on our list was your favorite? Please leave a comment down below. And it would mean a lot to us if you hit that like button and subscribed to our channel. We are a small startup company and we could really use your help. If you want to start selling online, make sure to check out joysk.com. You can start posting items for sale online within two minutes, it's that easy. And if you are low on supplies, make sure to take advantage of Joysk's two hour delivery on over 1000 items on select locations. Thank you very much for watching.